Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, today we have, well, I am going to be talking about Yemen. Ukraine official walk out of Russia's G20 remarks. This happened a couple of days ago, no, yesterday, um, which I didn't see a couple of days ago. Um, apparently, uh, Janet Yellen and Minister Suri, I guess, sorry, uh, Marchenko, walked out of a group of 20 meeting yesterday as Russian representatives started talking. Several finance ministers and central bank governors also left the room, according uh, according an official uh, familiar with the meetings who uh, spoke on the conditions of anonymity. Anyway, because the event was not public, some ministers and central bank governors who attended the meeting uh, virtually turned their cameras off when Russian President Vladimir Putin's um, representative spoke. The person said. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said of Yellen's walkout, certainly we, we support her steps and it's an addiction, addiction, I'm sorry, indication of the fact that President Putin uh, and Russia had become a pariah on the global stage. The incident came amid the International Monetary Fund and World Bank spring meetings in which finance leaders try to tackle the world's most pressing issues. The brutal event, uh, effects of, excuse me, of Russia's war against Ukraine has taken, have taken center stage, and Treasury Department officials say earlier this week that Yellen would would try to avoid contact with Russians who plan to attend G20 virtually. President Biden has said that Russia should not remain a member of the G20, a, a an international body of the world's biggest economies that promotes economic cooperation between countries. Indonesia is the host country for G Summit in November. The group of seven, which does not include Russia, released a uh, released statement last Wednesday saying international organizations and uh, multilateral fora should, not, should no longer conduct uh, activities with Russia in a business-as-usual manner. As such, we regret participation by Russia in international fora, including G20, International Monetary Fund, and World Bank meetings this week. Russia was once part of what was then called the Group of Eight, but its membership was suspended in 2014 after its annexation, or its bringing in a primary, Crimea. Uh, Sri Muliani, uh, in, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to murder his name, uh, Indrawadi, uh, Indi- uh, in- Indonesian's fi- uh, finance minister, when asked about Russia's participation in G20 and the about and the about the walkout, said that the multilateral forum is a place to express the views of all members and invitees. Saki re- reiterated the administration's position that we can't have business as usual at this G20 and other international forums. When it comes to Russia, I kind of wonder have have they ever done this to other countries that they might be in proxy war with? Um, they do this with Iraq. They do this with China. Do they, you know, I mean, we're not they were never in the proxy war, but they were, you know, trade war with China for a while, and I guess we still kind of are because the tariffs are still in effect. But I think that Yellen and other people walking out on on Putin uh, or Putin's representative I think that I think that equates to um unprofessionalism uh no I mean I understand that uh they believe that Putin is raging a nonsensical war on a smaller country but if you look at the facts behind the fact that with Ukraine, they never implemented the uh, uh, Missy Agreement. They never um, acknowledged well. They, I think they acknowledged, but they never imp- implemented it. And the one the, and the one country that was pushing them not to implement it was the U.S. because the U.S. wanted wants to bring about 
uh, more NATO or put more more countries in a NATO um, effectively uh, those countries would be paying for um, uh, defense uh, we're paying the United States for the defense and for you know for when a war happens we're the first we're the first country to come in and intervene we are literally the world's cop we shouldn't be and i would never agree to any of that it's nothing must become the world's police and as far as i know about we actually supply a majority of the funding to military um combat uh combativeness for it finland are, are joining the fray as far as our goes making nato just that much closer to russia and if everything goes the way that Biden wants it to go with Ukraine, then Ukraine would uh, maybe not be a part of NATO, but pay for basically NATO's military help, uh, which includes every other country that can help in regards, especially UK. Um, so I, I think the whole thing is screwed up. I don't think that we should be getting in, in, into any kind of war with any uh, country. I think we should be trying to make sure that uh, financial peace and just regular finance uh, can be made with every country in the world that can purchase uh, product and purchase uh, whatever is necessary to uh, keep um, keep products going, coming and going as far as the bar goes. Uh, anyway, that's my stance on the whole thing. I think it was unprofessional. I don't think that Yellen uh, should be... Um, I don't think she should be uh, Treasury Secretary any longer. Uh, I think that Saki is leaving anyway, so she. I don't think she really gives a shit anymore. Um, I think Biden's going to have a tough fight on his hands uh, come general election. And I've been hearing that maybe Bernie Sanders uh, hasn't uh, taken uh, 2020, 2024 off uh, as a non-possibility of, of him running again. I would not support him. Uh, I will not support anybody unless we had open primaries and unless we had range choice paper ballots. Otherwise, you're just going to get the same old shit for days, sort of, sort of thing. Um, if you support progressives, cool, whatever. I mean, that's your right. If you support Republicans, that's your right. Uh, I don't like either one, and I'm not going to support either one. However, I do work with the, the real progressives, so... I will be supporting what Real Progressives uh, does in regards to monetary theory, and I will do my lives and all that stuff downtown and all that other kind of stuff. But otherwise, I'm not voting for anybody, and I'm not, and I'm not, um, I'm not, I myself, I'm not saying you should vote for this person or not. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, I will be coming up with some for from the other two. Uh, my substack calvin taylor uh, dot substack dot com and my patreon page patreon.com slash just calvin uh learn mmt uh thanks for listening watching and i'll talk to you soon peace out for now